योर क्वेश्चन इज गिवन दैट टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव बाई ट्वेल्व एंड दैट वन एटी डिग्री लेस देन इक्वल टू टीटा लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन टीटा एंड कॉस टीटा तो इसको समझो वॉट दे हैव टोल्ड दे हैव टोल्ड दैट टेन टीटा इज माइनस फाइव बाई ट्वेल्व वॉट इज टेन तो टेन इज द रेशियो ऑफ अपोजिट बाई अजेंट That only we will write. Tan is opposite by adjacent. Now, if we draw a right angle triangle, suppose this is our right angle triangle. Here it is ninety degree, and the theta is here. That means we are seeing from here. So this is our opposite. and this is our adjacent side and this comes your hypotenuse now so what they have told tan theta is opposite by adjacent that is equal to minus 5 by 12 so here simply we will write 5 by 12 not minus so now the opposite is 5 and the adjacent is 12 we will find out hypotenuse by pythagoras theorem what is that hypotenuse square is equal to height square plus base square that is equal to we can say is 5 square plus 12 square so now 5 square is 25 plus 144 12 square is 144 That is equal to one sixty nine. That is hypotenuse square. So what is hypotenuse? So hypotenuse is root over one sixty nine. Root over one sixty nine. So one sixty nine is the perfect square of thirteen. So we can say it's thirteen. So hypotenuse is now thirteen. Now. See the minus sign, and what they have given? One eighty. It should be theta is greater than one eighty, and it should be less than or equal to three sixty degree. So now understand this. Suppose this is your circle, and these are the four quadrant. V and one eighty degree lies here. And three sixty. That means it's zero only. Now, where tan is negative, so we know that tan is positive in the first and positive in the third, negative in the second one and negative here. So now this is your range one eighty degree to three sixty degree. That means they are talking about fourth quadrant. so simply we will say fourth quadrant now just write there sin theta what is sin sin is opposite by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse so just we will write the value first so opposite is 5 and hypotenuse is 13 and they are talking about the fourth quadrant so fourth quadrant sin is negative so here we will simply put minus comes to cos so cos is adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse first we will write the value adjacent is 12 And the hypotenuse is thirteen. So we know that cos is positive in the first and fourth quadrant. So fourth is positive for that. Therefore, your answer is the same. Like this, we have to do it. 